The tables have turned, and now you're the one in charge. But guess what? They can't stand it. The ones who once walked past you, ignored you, or looked down on you are now watching you rise. And with each decision you make, their resentment grows. They never thought you'd be the one giving the orders, did they? They assumed you'd stay in their shadow, playing by their rules. But now, they're the ones standing on the sidelines, forced to reckon with the truth. They tried to control you, to manipulate you. But they played themselves. Now, the power is in your hands. And they can't handle the reality of it. You know the type. The ones who smirked when you spoke, barely bothering to mask their disdain. They saw you as someone to manipulate, someone to exploit. You were a means to their end, and they believed they had the power to use you however they pleased. Back then, you didn't have the title, the influence, or the authority. But what they didn't realize was that power is never just about titles. It's about resilience, insight, and the silent confidence that comes from knowing your worth. They were too arrogant to see what was building within you. They treated you like you didn't belong at the table, as if your voice didn't matter. Their every word and action was a reminder of the hierarchy they believed they sat at the top of. They dismissed you, thinking that their control over you was absolute. Every snide comment, every ignored suggestion, every belittling remark, they thought it was proof of their superiority. But what they didn't know was that each of those moments was fueling your rise. While they were busy looking down on you, you were studying the game, learning how to play it better than they ever could. Their arrogance was their greatest mistake. They never expected you to rise above them. They never thought the person they treated as insignificant would one day be the one calling the shots. And now, as they look at you, standing tall, commanding respect, making decisions, they can't handle it. It's like watching their worst nightmare come to life. They've realized too late that they never had the upper hand. The control they thought they had was an illusion, and now, they're the ones left powerless. Now they have to deal with the reality of your success. They hate it because it shatters the narrative they spent so long building. A narrative where they were always on top and you were always struggling to catch up. But here's the thing about underdogs. The world underestimates them until it's too late. And by the time they see your strength, you've already won. Their discomfort now is a direct result of their arrogance. They thought they knew you, thought they could keep you under their thumb, but they didn't realize that they were fueling your transformation. What they despise the most is that you didn't rise by stepping on others like they did. You didn't have to play dirty to get where you are. Your strength came from endurance, patience, and a deep understanding of your worth. That's something they'll never understand because they've always relied on manipulation to get what they want. And now, they're watching as someone who plays the game with integrity, someone they underestimated, has surpassed them. It's a bitter pill for them to swallow. And as you continue to rise, their frustration only grows. They once thought they controlled the narrative, but now they're forced to rewrite the story. A story where you are the protagonist, and they're left as minor characters in the background. This shift in power has left them scrambling, trying to figure out how they lost control, but the truth is, they never had it. You've been in control of your destiny from the start, and now they're just bystanders watching you take charge. So let them watch. Let them stew in their disbelief. They played themselves when they underestimated you, and now they're left with nothing but regret. You've earned your place at the top, not because they allowed it, but because you claimed it for yourself. And now, the game has changed, for good. Your rise wasn't just the result of hard work. It was part of a divine plan. God has always been guiding you, even when you couldn't see it. The people who tried to control you, they were obstacles placed in your path to teach you lessons, to strengthen your resolve, to prepare you for the power you hold now. But more importantly, God removed them from your life for a reason. Their presence was a distraction, a hindrance to your growth. And now that you've stepped into your purpose, it's clear that you are always destined for greatness. Sometimes we don't understand why certain people leave our lives until much later. In hindsight, it's obvious that those who tried to undermine you were never meant to be part of your journey. They were placed there as tests, 
as challenges to help you refine your strength and character. And now that you've passed those tests, God has cleared the path for you to walk in your true calling. They were never meant to walk this path with you, and their absence is a testament to God's protection over your life. God has always had His hand on your life, even when it felt like you were walking alone. Those moments of doubt, those times when you questioned your worth, He was there, shaping you, molding you into the leader you've become. Now that you're in a position of authority, it's clear that every step of the way was part of His plan, and letting those people back into your life would only disrupt the divine progress that's been made. It's tempting to believe that people can change, that they deserve a second chance, but God removed them from your life for a reason. Their energy, their presence, would only bring negativity and spiritual challenges. You've come too far to let them drag you back down. Your peace, your success, your progress, they're all a result of God's guidance. Don't risk that by reopening doors that He has closed. This isn't just about protecting your success. It's about protecting your spirit. God has placed you in this position of power for a reason, and it's your responsibility to guard it. The people who tried to control you in the past, they were never part of God's plan for your future. Their return would only bring chaos and spiritual distraction. Stay focused on the path God has laid out for you, and trust that His protection is guiding you every step of the way. The spiritual battles you faced in the past have prepared you for this moment. You've overcome so much, and now you're walking in your purpose. Don't allow the past to creep back in and undo the progress you've made. God has cleared your path, and it's your job to keep walking forward, leaving behind those who were never meant to come with you. Trust in the divine plan. Trust that God has placed you where you are for a reason. You're not just the boss. You're a leader chosen by a higher power. And with that comes the responsibility to protect your position, your progress, and your spirit from those who would seek to disrupt it. They can't stand the idea that you're the one in control now. It goes against everything they believed about their own superiority. The idea that the person they once dismissed as inconsequential is now leading the charge makes them uncomfortable in ways they can't even articulate. They hate it because it forces them to confront their own flaws, their own failures in judgment. They were so sure of themselves, so convinced that they could predict the future. But they were wrong, and nothing stings more than realizing you've misjudged someone's worth. Now they're scrambling. They're trying to find ways to insert themselves back into your story, to rewrite the past where they didn't dismiss you where they were always supportive. But you see right through their attempts. You remember how they treated you when you were on your way up. And no matter how they try to spin it now, the truth remains. They didn't see your value back then, and that's their loss. What drives them crazy is that you didn't need their validation to rise. You didn't need their approval or their support to become the boss. You built yourself from the ground up, and now they're forced to acknowledge that. The power dynamic has shifted, and they hate being on the wrong side of it. It's not just that you're in control, it's that you're in control without their help. They thought you needed them, but now they realize it was the other way around. There's a bitter irony in the fact that now they need you. The very people who once dismissed your potential are now coming to you for advice, for opportunities, for validation. And every time they do, it's a reminder of how wrong they were. They can't stand that you're the gatekeeper now, that your approval is what matters. It's not about revenge, it's about justice. They're finally seeing you for who you are, but it's too late for them to benefit from it. Your value has always been undeniable, but now it's visible to everyone. They can't ignore it anymore, and that's what eats them up inside. You didn't just rise, you soared, and every success you achieve is a reminder to them of their failure to recognize your worth when it mattered. Now they have no choice but to watch as you continue to rise, while they remain stuck, haunted by the opportunities they missed. And the truth is, they never would have been able to handle your rise. You're not just powerful, you're respected, admired, and followed. Your leadership isn't just about authority, it's about vision, compassion, and strength. You lead with heart, and that's something they will never understand. This is exactly why we created the Obsidian Inner Order, for leaders like you, 
who rise with purpose and can't be shaken by the games of others. The link is in the description. Inside the inner order, you'll find the tools to take your leadership to even greater heights. While they ruled through fear, you rise through respect, vision, and unshakable integrity. They could never match that, and they never will. It's a hard pill to swallow when you realize that the very person you tried to control is the one in charge. They thought they could dictate your path, but now they're watching as you navigate your own success, leaving them in the dust. It's not just the fact that you've risen, it's the fact that you've risen without them. Their entire strategy hinged on keeping you dependent on their approval, on their influence. But now that you've proven you don't need them, their entire worldview has collapsed. They were so focused on maintaining their position that they never considered the possibility of you surpassing them. And now, as they watch you climb higher and higher, they're left with nothing but regret. They missed their chance to be a part of your success. They played the game so long that they forgot the rules could change, and now they're stuck on the losing side. It's almost poetic, really. They spent so much time trying to control the narrative that they didn't see how much control they were losing. And now, they're the ones scrambling for relevance, trying to find a way back into your world. But the doors are closed, the bridges are burned, and there's no going back. They thought they had all the time in the world, but time has run out and they've been left behind. What they underestimated was your ability to learn, to adapt, to grow. While they were busy trying to control you, you were quietly gaining the skills, the knowledge, and the confidence you needed to surpass them. And now, they're left watching from the sidelines as you take control of the game they thought they owned. Their downfall wasn't just inevitable, it was their own doing. They were so focused on keeping you down that they didn't realize they were the ones sinking. And now, as they watch you thrive, they're forced to confront the reality that they're no longer in control. They played themselves, and the worst part is, they know it. What they'll never admit to anyone, not even to themselves, is the shame they feel. Beneath the resentment and jealousy is a deep sense of failure. They see your success and are haunted by the fact that they had every opportunity to be part of it, but instead, they chose to sabotage it. Their pride won't allow them to acknowledge how badly they misjudged you. Instead, they'll mask it with bitterness, refusing to take responsibility for the role they played in pushing you away. It's this inner turmoil that keeps them stuck while you keep rising. And now, as you flourish, they're left questioning every decision they made. The regret of burning those bridges is weighing heavily on them, even though they'll never let it show. But it's there, lurking behind their forced smiles and hollow attempts at reconciliation. They can see now that in trying to play you, they sabotage themselves. It's a realization that eats away at them with every success you achieve. Your rise to power isn't just a victory for you. It's a constant reminder to them of their own downfall, one they can't escape. As the tables have turned, they'll try to find a way back in. It's almost inevitable. Now that you're in a position of power, they'll see an opportunity. Their first instinct will be to manipulate, to charm, to appeal to your emotions. They'll remind you of shared history, of moments when things seemed good. They'll attempt to rewrite the past, acting as if they were always supportive, as if their intentions were pure. But you know the truth, and this is where the real test comes in. Don't let them back in. Their motives haven't changed. What has changed is their desperation. Now that you're the one calling the shots, They'll do anything to be a part of your world again. But their return isn't about reconciliation or growth. It's about proximity to your success. They want to benefit from the empire you've built. And if you're not careful, they'll find a way to latch on, to drain your energy, and undermine your progress from the inside. That's why you need to keep the door closed. You've worked too hard to build the life you have now. You've created boundaries, peace, and a sense of purpose that's entirely your own. Allowing them back in would only bring chaos and confusion. They've already shown you who they are. They've already proven that they're willing to sabotage you if it benefits them. Letting them back into your life is like inviting a storm into your home. It will only destroy everything you've worked for. Their return will come with temptation. They'll appeal to your sense of compassion, 
hoping that your kindness will give them another chance. But remember this, they don't deserve that chance. They had their opportunity, and they chose to play games. They chose manipulation, deceit, and control. Now, they want to come back because they see the power you hold, and they want to be a part of it. But they don't deserve a seat at your table. Stay strong in your boundaries. You've already cut ties for a reason. You saw through their games, and you made the decision to move forward without them. Don't second-guess yourself now. Their return isn't about mutual growth. It's about their desire to leech off your success. Don't let them in. Keep moving forward and protect the peace and power you've built. Every time you think about reopening the door, remember the chaos they brought into your life. Remember the sleepless nights, the doubt, the manipulation. Is that something you're willing to risk again? They'll say all the right things, but their actions have already shown their true colors. Keep the door shut. Your success and happiness depend on it. As you grow more successful, the tactics they use to try to re-enter your life will become even more elaborate. Don't be surprised if they suddenly act like they've changed, presenting themselves as new people who've learned their lesson. They may even go as far as to apologize for past behavior, playing the role of the remorseful friend. But make no mistake, this isn't about true change. It's about access. Access to your power, your influence, and the opportunities they now desperately want to be part of. Stay vigilant, because their charm can be deceiving. They may also try to manipulate your sense of compassion, appealing to your kindness and generosity. They'll bring up the past, not to resolve it, but to remind you of a bond they've long since broken. They'll count on you to forgive and forget, hoping that your empathy will be their ticket back into your world. But letting them in now would only open the door to new betrayals. No matter how convincing their words may sound, their actions in the past have already revealed their true intentions. Trust your instincts and keep the door firmly shut. Don't look back. Those who once tried to control you are now on the outside looking in, and that's where they belong. Remember the story of Lot's wife. Turning back can bring ruin to your future. You're the boss now and your focus needs to stay on the road ahead, not on those who once held you back. You've worked too hard to let anyone drag you down now. So stand firm. You're in control, and nobody can take that from you. Trust in God's plan for your life, and move forward with confidence. You have the power, the influence, and the respect. It's time to walk in your purpose with strength, knowing that you are worthy of everything you've achieved. Keep rising, keep leading, and never forget, you're the boss now.